the shed leaked last night so we're out getting bits and pieces to fix it basically we're going to put on a new roof so that's going to be fun but first we need nourishment so we're off to the hut because Jen likes pizza the hut My goodness, I feel so fast, but we've got to go and fix a shed now. Sorry? I don't know what they're doing. They're making a big mess, I know that. It's one of those uh, days where we've got a lot to do, but we have to have something to eat first because you need to have all the energy so uh, we can go and fix this shed. Now, I know I said yesterday that today would probably be the day that we started Game Hammer again, but the thing is, we had a major incident last night. Now, don't worry, no, no one's hurt, no one got broken into or anything like that, but what actually happened is, and it's quite interesting that the night that I put up Jenny's vlog where she's checking the shed for leaks, is the night that we had a major storm and the shed started to leak. Not a little bit, a lot. So, we have spent the whole of today rebuilding the shed roof essentially. We've uh, had to cut parts out of the, the wood and replace them and Jen's done a huge amount of work on this. I mean she is a little workhorse when she needs to be. Uh, we've replaced parts of the, of the shed roof wood. We've uh, had to go and get a load of uh, felt and stuff like that, covered that. While losing light we were still working on it and in fact if it wasn't for the outdoor lights we wouldn't have been able to finish because as we were putting on the lights and uh, losing all of the natural light, we finally got the guttering back on <laughs> onto the shed. And oh my goodness, it's been a long, hard day. So we took the evening off. Because you do, when, when you've worked hard, you need a bit of a break. So I finished off Grand Theft Auto V on the Xbox 360. Pretty good game. Actually, I would say it's better than Grand Theft Auto 4, but of course, nowhere near as good as Grand Theft Auto San Andreas which is the pinnacle of the Grand Theft Autos. So, oh, it's been a busy day. I'm now gonna sit down and just relax. And yeah, it's 20 past 11. It's taken a long time to get everything done. But I'm gonna get uh, settled and relaxed. And the way I'm gonna relax is finishing off the scripts for Game Hammer so that we've got the next three weeks at least ready to film. And then when I get a minute, I'll film those because I can't really do much else today. I did while we were out to get a lot of my case work done on my mobile phone because that's really useful. The best thing you can do if you're a counsellor is get all of your counsel emails sent to a mobile phone so you can do anything you need to wherever you are. And because I did that, I don't need to do that this evening. So I'm going to go and relax now. And uh, that's pretty much all I've got for today for the vlog. But uh, if anything else if interesting does come up, I'll put it on the end of this video. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, now before I start with the uh, script writing, I'm going to do a Game Hammer one shot and it's going to be a special one because, well a special one for me because it's a certain game that I really really like and I'm going to just turn this on because I've just run it out. So, what I want to talk about today on Game Hammer one shot is Lou Mines. Now Lou Mines is an interesting game because uh, I first got it on, not on a console or a handheld but on my phone. This is an old uh, Motorola Razr and I had Lou Mines on this. Now I used to use that so much. It was, it was a great game. I actually finished it on the mobile version, and that's uh, the phone I got before my uh, iPhone four, which, funnily enough, is the the phone I filmed my first two films on. So, this is what I say to you. every time people have asked me, "How do you make a film? What do you use?" The answer really is anything that you got around. I had a phone that could uh, take video, so I made a, a couple of films, uh, the Locket and To My Beloved, on my phone. It's a way to do it. But uh, going back to the Motorola, I loved Lumines so much. So when I found that there was a PlayStation 2 version, I adored that too. And that's what we're going to have a look at today. So I'm going to record the intro and outro now, and then we're going to get on with it. Yeah, it doesn't take long to make an intro and outro for that. And now I'm going to go and play the game, record it. About 10 minutes should be enough. Or actually, given that I'm actually not very good at it and it takes me a long time to get anywhere, we'll probably find that I only need to get to time up. But let's have a look anyway. <laughs> 